Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will see how to extract the data from the PDF file using the chat GPT feature. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So without any further delay, let us start our session for the day. So first of all, we will be going through the problem statement that we will be implementing in this video session. So first of all, you have to extract the data from the PDF file which will be available from the customer. So once you have extracted the data from the PDF file, then you need to modify the input for the minor adjustment in order to achieve the required goal. Then the next step that you have to perform is to invoke or call the chat GPT API in order to extract the data in a specified or desired format. So once the data is extracted in the specified format, the next thing that you have to do is to extract is to write the extracted data in the Excel file. So this is the problem statement that we will be implementing using Automation Anywhere A360 version. So in the next section, you will see how to implement this problem statement that we have discussed. So in this section, you will see how to implement the solution to the problem statement that we have discussed using Automation Anywhere A360 version. So the first thing that you have to do is to log in to your Automation Anywhere with your Bot Creator credentials. So once you log in, you have to click on the Automation tab and then click on the Create a Task Bot option. Over here, you need to define the name to your Task Bot. So I will define the name as Extract PDF Data using OpenAI. This is up to you as to what name you keep for your Task Bot. And then click on Create and Edit. So once you click on create and edit, the workspace area will be opened where you will be designing or uh, coding your uh, solution. So the first thing that we will do is to drag and drop the comment command. So drag and drop the comment command and over here write the comment as extract PDF data from the PDF file. And then click on the save button. The next thing that you have to do is to use the PDF command or PDF package and from the PDF package drag and drop the extract text option and over here select the desktop file tab in the properties section and then select the path of the PDF file uh, from your computer where it is located. So my file is located in the downloads folder and in the IQBot sample documents and purchase order folder. So over here I will select for the time being any file. So I am selecting purchase order 2 and the in the type of text that we need to select is the plain text and we will export the data to the text file. So browse again click on the browse button and select the text file from your uh, required directory location and then check, uh, check this overwrite file with the same name checkbox and assign the output or store the output in a dictionary variable. So we will create the dictionary variable as v, vpdf output data and then click on create and select and then click on the save button. The next thing that we need to do is to open the is to open the uh, P, uh, text file that in which we have stored the output. So in order to open the file, use the file package and from the file package, drag and drop the open action and over here, select the specific path from where, uh, from your local system where your file is located. So my file is located in the desktop folder. So I will select the uh, desktop folder and select the PDF data extract file uh, which we I have uh, given the name to my text file. So once this is done, 
you need to click on the save button the next thing that we need to perform is is to use the simulate keystroke action or the simulate keystroke package so from the simulate keystroke package drag and drop the simulate keystroke action or command and select the application tab and then click on the refresh window so once you click on refresh window the list of all the available open windows will be available in this drop down so from here we will select the uh, available window as notepad and over here we will pass in the keystroke as control a which means to select the or entire content from the text file and then click on the save button so we will copy this same action again that is simulate keystroke but this time we will pass in instead of a we will pass in c which which will mean we, we have to copy the entire content from that notepad file or the text file the next thing that we need to use is to uh, use the string action so from the string action use the replace action so in the replace action we will pass in the source string as clipboard variable and then click on yes insert we will find the string uh, in the find string field we will pass in slash n which will be a regular expression that is a new line character and we will store the output in a variable called vstr body and then click on the save button so once it is replaced the next action that we have to use is to use the assign action so drag and drop the assign action and over here select the variable that is vstr body click on yes insert and then also you copy this content that is i need data from above content as below as only that is po number po date and ship to so over here copy this text and store the output in the same variable that is vstr body and then click on the save button the next action that we will use is to use the rest api command so over here uh, we will drag and drop the post action from the rest web services package and over here in the property section we will copy the uri or the api url which we will be using that is of chat completion copy and paste the url and in the header we will pass in the authorization uh, header and over here select the insecure string tab uh, instead of insecure string tab uh, you 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 can use the credential tab uh, to store the uh, to store the uh, api key in the credential vault but for learning purpose we will be using this uh, insecure string tab so copy and paste this uh, key that is api key and then click on the add button the next thing that we have to use is to uh, enter the parameter so to enter the parameter we will copy this uh, data over here add the parameters as this and instead of hello we will pass in the vstr body variable in which we have stored the output click on yes insert and then store the output in a dictionary variable that is v api uh, output or v api body and then click on create and select and then click on the save button so we will see what is the response or output we, we are getting from this api so in order to see the output drag and drop the message box section so over here pass in the variable as v api body and then the dictionary key will be body then click on yes insert and then click on the save button so we will see uh, 
so we will run the bot in order to see whether the steps that we have performed up till now is working correctly or not so in order to run the bot you need to click on the run button so once you click on the run button the bot agent service will be invoked and the bot will start to deploy on the machine on which you are running the bot after downloading all the dependencies and uh, that we have used in our bot so we will uh, wait until it completes its set of actions that is extracting the data from the pdf file then copy and pasting the copy the data uh, and storing the data in a clipboard variable and using the rest api it will extract the uh, response which it will generate through the REST API service that we have used. So this is the response that it has generated. So the thing, so the next thing that we need to do, so we will copy this data, that is the response generated by the API in a notepad variable or in a notepad file. So after copying the data in a notepad file, So over here, if you can see, we will be uh, using this as the variable or we will be using this as to extract the output. So in the choices uh, part, we have to get the message and in the message, we have to get the content. So how this, uh, so how we will get this data? So we will use the, uh, so we will use the uh, JSON uh, object. So we will use the JSON package. So from the JSON package, we will drag and drop first the uh, start session command. And we will select the text uh, tab from the property section. And we will select the uh, uh, this uh, vapi body as the variable. And then the dictionary key will be body. And then uh, we will give the same session name that is default. And this session name will be used over the entire uh, set of actions uh, that we will be using from the JSON package. So in order to get the value, we will drag and drop the get node value action. And over here, we will write the uh, JSON node key or path as choices zero dot message dot content. And then we will store the output in a variable called vjson output. And then click on create and select. And then click on the save button. The session name will remain the same that we have used in the start session command. Finally, we will use or drag and drop the end session in order to end the session that we have opened using the start session command. And in this command, we will just have to pass the session name which we have opened in the start JSON session. Finally, we will print the output. So in order to print the output, drag and drop this message bots command. And we will store the uh, variable that is or we will print the variable that is vjson output in order to see the output. So click on yes insert and then click on the save button so our code is ready for the final for the final run so we will again click on the run button so once you click on the run button the bot will start to deploy on the machine and the bot agent service will be invoked and the bot will start to run on the system on which you are running the bot so we'll wait until the final output is received. So if you can see, uh, the output that we have received is the PO number, the PO date, and then the ship to value. So the last set of action that we have to do is to uh, is to uh, write the write this data in a CSV file or an Excel file. So in order to write the data in an Excel file, so what we will do is we will uh, 
use the Excel command that is the Excel advance package and over here we will drag and drop the open action so drag and drop this open action of the uh, Excel advance package so instead of Excel advance open action we will be using lot to file action so but before using the lot to file action we will use string replace action one more time so drag and drop the replace action from the string package and over here in the property section pass in the source string as vjson output click on yes insert then in the find string field find the comma this time it will not be a regular expression and we will store the output in the same variable that is vjson output and lastly after this we will be using lot to file action so from the lot to file package drag and drop the lot to file action and in the file path select uh, select or browse the path from your local machine where your file is located so my file is located in the desktop location so I am selecting the file from desktop and in the enter the text to load select the vjson output variable which we want to insert and then we will use override the existing load file action and in the encoding we will select the utf8 format and then click on the save button and then last but not the least we will click on the run button in order to see the final output that we need to store in the Excel or CSV file. So we will wait until the bot runs completely. So the bot has started to execute. So now it is opening the text file uh, where it has extracted the data it will select and copy the file in a clip uh, copy the content in a clipboard variable and then it will write the data into the uh, text file or into the csv file which we have given so the bot has completed its execution so now we will go and see the output it has generated and written to the csv file so this is the output which it has written to the csv file so with that we have come to the end of our video session wherein we saw how to how to extract the data from the pdf file or given by the customer using the open ai command and using the open ai and the automation anywhere a360 integration so if you have any queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all your queries so before we wind up our session for the day i request every one of you to please subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our youtube channel till then have a great day